One second. There we go. We're in the year 2019. 2019. We have the technology. I think it's 1982. Actually, I'm... so with Max. Heck one from... second. Wait, what? What? So you Where... can... He was the future. It looks really cool because we have your face on the monitor here, and you've framed yourself really well, actually. <laughs> so that's just your floating head that's on the couch with us. It's so cool. Um, but I'll make you... Uh, I'll make not, you be, I'll make the phone He's focus just now. behind the couch. He's just behind the... He's hiding behind the couch. So, welcome to the show. Hi. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy that it worked again. I cannot really follow it because the team is very on and on. But I saw you playing the game. Yeah, you're, you're in a uh, hotel room with uh, some sketchy Wi-Fi, I hear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a whole yeah, thing. I'm coming from a cycle from a cycle along the river Adam, the river Adam, the river Adam, the river Adam so, so I have to take what I have. So it's not better. Yeah, exactly. You have to take what you get. So, please, yeah. for yeah. my sake, please pronounce your name for me, your last name. Yench. 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 With a sh yeah. at the end. Okay, so I was saying Yents, but it's Yench. Okay, so I'll try my best to do that pronunciation from now on. Um, and the stream James is saying is work, reverb and lots of echo. Oh, reverb and lots of echo. Um, one second. Oh, yes, probably that's from... Do you have any... Do you have um, earbuds or headphones that you can put in? Isn't it because they're getting... Okay. It's it's because it's not from our end. It's from him because we're feeding back to him, and then it's going in his well, why microphone. Why are we hearing it then? If the stream people are hearing it, it's different for them. They don't hear what we hear, okay. because otherwise we would give them feedback. We don't hear ourselves through it. Excellent. Well, now thanks, it should be Thomas. good. Thank you so much. Is it um, now? So now now you can say something, and it should not feed back through there. Okay, let's okay, let's try. Okay, let's try. Oh, I have to turn down our side. <laughs> yeah. Oh, because they're picking, they're hearing uh, him through our speakers now. That's what I was thinking. So it was getting double. Um, I don't know how we're going to solve that. <laughs> That's not too easy. Okay, so we'll do our best. Where are the speakers over there? Should I turn yeah. this? Yeah, turn that away. It's towards you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm the local star now. <laughs> Darcy's in. That's a great shirt, by the way, Darcy. Okay, so, um, so true. we're nice. just so playing good. your game, uh, The Stacks, and it is wonderful and amazing. Uh, well, not you've you've taken it on, I guess. You've you're you're continuing it from what was what was being made before. Yes, that's that's correct. Um, so what what is really left on the stacks that you need to do? Yeah, that's a problem. I don't feel it's good enough, so I can release it, but I don't exactly know what I should add. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it looks pretty complete from Hell what yeah. like the little part that we saw that we were playing of your level. I wish that we knew that your levels that I had the notes back that your levels were. Two and four. The two, three, and four, rather than one, and one was the original. But it looks like two. Oh, I, I think I remember when we played it last time. It was the difficulty balancing, um, like the the challenge sure. if it's too hard or too easy. Uh, sure. So yeah. I think we'll definitely be playing it again in the near future, um, and doing the mapping because I don't think we did mapping last time. No, we just randomly ran through, which is never. Yeah, we, not no good. one recommends that. Especially for a game like that, where it definitely needs some mapping <laughs> to happen. Cool. Cool. Yes. And um, in your game, what is it, Robot City? Oh my god, that's an amazing game. Um, <laughs> and that, that definitely needs to be finished as well. Um, that is uh, <laughs> just a fun, simple game. I know I'm getting on you about finishing your <laughs> games, and that's terrible. But, uh, but it's mostly more praise for how, how really good the games are um, that, you've, that you've made. Um, so, the main topic and focus is, of course, Stella today. Um, they do what we're doing the fundraising for. 
and maybe you can do talk a little bit about um, how you use Stella to do developing, um, if you do use Stella. Yes, of course. I mean, um, I started developing using Z26. That's an old emulator. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. I'm just uh, making okay. sure that we don't okay. feedback. I'm doing um, selective sound selecting uh, sound management here, muting Marcel, so people out there don't get uh, totally. Yeah, because the picture is is just a mess. I see some pic some pixels, and that's all my Wi-Fi get gives me. Um, so yes, I started developing with Set Twenty Six, but uh, eventually, I think it was during Boulder Dash, I switched to Stella, and never looked bad. And and when I when I stopped developing the stacks because I was frustrated by the game by the game. I started helping out Steven with Stella. So um, for the last two or three years, I don't know, I'm working with Steven and uh, Dirty Harry on Stella. So um, trying to make it even better than it was before. And this is a lot of fun because we're talking a lot. We know each other, how we tick. And we, it's, it's really enjoyable. Something different than game developing. Um, and but I'm I'm doing game game developing in the in parallel as well. So now I'm doing two things. That's excellent. So um, what uh, what parts of Stella are you focusing on to to help them out? Oh, it's it's <laughs> multiple parts. Um, I I worked on the UI on the inter on the user interface. Uh, I did the phosphor effect. It's lots of things. Um, just when I've, we have a lot, we have a large list of to dos and bugs and improvements, and I constantly add other things to it to Stephen's frustration because the list is not getting shorter but longer. And when I find time, when I find time, I take one and uh, yeah, try to implement it. I'm, I'm, the, I'm, so I'm, the, I'm the one who is seeing Stella a lot from developer perspective, so I'm probably. Giving some input which uh, Stephen is not cannot know because he hasn't done a game yet. Maybe this will change. So that's my role. That that makes sense, and it is really good that you are coming from a developer's point of view, um, so that um, so that you're really not only improving it for the people playing the games because the emulation will be closer to the real thing but you're making it better for developers um yes. possibly yes. even like back-end stuff like the uh debugger or you know some of the the ui when you press the tilde and and look at the code of what's going on so that's yeah and and uh steven not being a uh programmer that's it's good to have a wide variety of people helping out and and I guess what you do is you just go down the list and go, yeah, I could think I can handle that. Um, you know the things that you need to the, to, the big to do list. And uh, yeah. yeah, he sent along to me that yeah, the to do list is really really massive. But I guess things rise up to the top. Yeah, the last the last thing I did was controller enhancement, keyboard controller, and um, uh, physical joysticks will be better in the next release. Stuff like this. And before that, I did with Steven together the time machine, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so that's uh, the things I'm most proud of. Yeah, the time machine, that would be really, really helpful because, you know, if you die and you're trying to test something out and you, like, you finally get to replicate it, you can rewind it back and keep replaying and mm -hmm. then trying mm -hmm. different things to, to replicate that that issue, it's like, oh, that's why some people don't experience it, but other people experience it. Right. Yeah. Um, so with the time yeah. machine, are you able to um, go in and change developer options and okay. just change anything you want and then try and replay? Yes, yes. But it's not only for, for developers. I mean, for players, it's also nice. I mean, you die and you, you just uh, jump back a few seconds and try again. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> yeah, you get to. That would be handy. That would be very handy. You get to like a really, really high level, and you're like, oh, come on, I want to see the end of this game. 
and uh, rather than you know trying to replay it over and over again, or you get to practice the hard part yeah. of the game. Because imagine like playing a game for two hours, and then you get to this part, and then you have one life left, and you have that's the only chance you have to practice the game. And with the time machine, you just rewind it, play it again and again and again, and then yep. you get good at it. Yep. Because that is a definitely frustrating part of playing playing games where you get to the end boss and you get to play it only once. Yeah. <laughs> so ah, what today, is... Today, times have changed. I mean, when, when I grew up, you had to play it like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's right. You had, uh, yeah, you had to. That's the only thing you could do. You either play it in the arcade and got a whole bunch more quarters or, you know, <laughs> restarted the Atari and go from the start right, yeah. right again. <laughs> um, but yeah, everybody, now there's games that you don't even die in. You just kind of infinite lives, or you rewind. Like the rewind is part of the mechanics of some games. Yeah, a lot, a lot of games now. Prince and of Persia. Prince of Persia. Yeah, um, it wasn't the best version. Uses of it. <laughs> yeah. So, but like they, but they work at it. Yeah, save yeah. lots of save. And so you, you get similar. And... You get similar to having to replay, but you don't have to start at the beginning. But, but they work it into the games now. Yep. It's like part of the games. Absolutely. So that yeah. it's not really seen as cheating. It's just you know it's part of yeah, the yeah. game. So what is what is next for you? Are you are you doing developing? Are you taking a break? Or are you concentrating on Stella? Or are you just doing a bunch of stuff all at once now? Uh, there's something I cannot talk about. I'm doing I'm doing something. Um, yeah, it's 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 not official yet. Uh, there are some negotiations going on, and afterwards it will still take a bit of time, but. Um, yeah, that's my next project in programming for the two six hundred. Well, that's that's uh, very exciting and enticing. So everybody, make their bets in the chat <laughs> of what game he is uh, talking about. And by negotiations, I'm guessing it's going to be a port, an official port <laughs> of something. But I'm just guessing here. Um, uh, so that's very very exciting. That's that's excellent. Um, because probably, and that also leads me to believe it's a port of something because of Boulder Dash and the experience of negotiations with First Star software that you may have had. Um, and, uh, you know, the stacks, you're part of that too. So that's uh, very interesting. So we'll see how that develops. So that's, thank you very much for that little uh, tidbit of information. But no problems, obviously. You know, we are just hobbyists and everything can go wrong anytime or we lose interest in something. So. You're doing this for fun. Yeah, and you really do have to do it for fun and as a hobby because you, nobody here is getting rich off of <laughs> making 2,600 no. games no. For, for this small group of very dedicated um, fan base and group of people. But um, it, it is just, it is a lot of fun. Um, and just challenging yourself and, and learning. Exactly. So... Thank, thank, thank you for so much for we finally get to talk to you on the show and it's it's been wonderful and um, hopefully one of these years I'll be able to uh, meet you in person and do a um, a proper interview or maybe even over the internet. Maybe there's a better Wi-Fi network at home. It's better. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely with a better Wi-Fi uh, connection. But uh, on our our end, you look yeah, totally fine. Actually, it, it's one so, of the better video streams i've seen of, of yeah. Uh, yeah yeah it's, it's solid good. so you're obviously your end is sacrificing all of your uh, download for upload it's pretty yeah, great it's it's worked out for well. the, uh, in the so thank you so much I for uh, you. yes yes yeah the, every all the communication is good and you can hear us and it always falls back on audio always if, if the video is bad yeah. it always dedicates more bits to the audio um, so thank you for, for everything you've done for the community and all the amazing games that you have made and contributed to. And um, thank you so much for, for tuning in as well. Yeah, and yeah. thank you for, for your shows. I mean, it's not only this show which helps Stella, I hope, but also the, the other shows where you're promoting homebrewing. That's really cool. I mean, for a developer, it's nice to see that people like your games. But it's even much more nicer to see people liking your games and playing them. I wish there would be more videos on YouTube of my games where people really play the games. Then this is really, really cool. It's very motivating. <laughs> 
And yeah, I see it. I see it that way too. I yeah. I want it. It it serves many many purposes. One, it uh, does beta testing. It we can look for bugs. Two, it it does spur on um, a lot of developers. Yeah, um, yeah. Like yeah, we sure. played we played games on the show that are like seven years old or even older, and they've gone oh. People have interest in this, and the people are watching and giving them feedback, and they pick up the torch and s finish off their game. And I was like, "Oh my God, that's so awesome!" That it it spurs on more development in the game, and it also shows the game off to all the people out there that may not have heard of it or heard of it but never saw it in action. And now they're like, "Oh, I want to buy this game from the store." Or I will want to buy this game when it's out on cartridge. So, um, and I want to make, we want to make con contributions back to the community because we're not making these games. We're only playing these games. So, you guys are doing the heavy lifting. <coughs> um, but it is all a community effort. Um, you know, there's people that need to play the games, people that need to promote the games, and people that need to make the games. So it's it it is all one kind of really great community that puts it all together. Yes, I, I think I'm doing this for you know, 20 years now, and if it wouldn't be such a great community where people are helping each other and there's no uh, mobbing or things like this happening, uh, with a few exceptions as always, but it's really a great community. And um, thanks to Al, for, for example, for Atari Age, he keeps the thing alive and even better every time. So. There's a lot of people we should not forget and helping. We are, we are a small bunch of people, and but we're sticking together. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Thanks to Al from Atari Age and everybody else in the, all the developers, all the people who tune into the show, all the people who sell these games and, and make all the contributions. There's people who, who do the programming, who do the artwork, who do the beta testing, who do the sound like I supposed to. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Everybody is a, it's a big, huge community that comes together, makes it all happen. We all benefit from it. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it's definitely good to not forget any of these. People. So, so thank you so much for um, coming in and chatting with us. It was, it was, it was a great honor for you to, to come in and, and talk with us today. Yeah, thanks. And I enjoyed it and have a great show. I will be watching one more hour or so before I go to bed. I, oh, I will try. I will try. I don't know what my stream does. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. He's in. He's in Europe doing a bike tour, so uh, he has to get some rest and and be rested up for the rest of his tour. So sounds lovely. Yeah. So thank you very much, and we will chat with you soon. Thank you, Thomas Jensch. Jensch. Oh, I, I forgot it already. Jensch. 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 Okay. Bye bye. Jensch. <laughs> Jensch. <laughs> bye bye. Bye.